Well, hello everybody, and uh, hello there, burro. I really don't think these back roads here are RV friendly. I'm riding, 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 riding with my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. This is North Carolina State Route 9, or NC9 on the map, from Black Mountain to Chimney Rock. Yeah, very windy road. Are you all dizzy yet? At some point, I decide to pull over, let people pass. I am going painfully slow on these switchbacks. To the right, I don't know if you can see it, but that's the Broad River, which doesn't look very broad, does it? <laughs> As uh, we arrive here at the community of Bat Cave. This whole town seems to be like the gateway to the place where we are going, Chimney Rock State Park. The Broad River, still here to our right. Here, also to the right, is the Hickory Nut Falls Campground, the place where we wanted to stay originally, before we decided to make this uh, day trip. Here we are. Pretty narrow entrance for an RV if you ask me, but I have been assured that there is RV parking. Well, I'm glad there's not a whole lot of traffic coming down this early. Can you imagine doing this with a long Class A motorhome? I won't bore you with the rest. Here we are. We are instructed to park at this area called the Meadows, which is a little further up. I wonder where we should park though, but there's no one to ask. Okay, let's do this. Uh, let's park right here, because it is always a good idea to have an exit, just in case someone decides to block us. From here, a, a shuttle takes us all the way up to the trailheads. First time at the car? Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty long way up. Here we are. I think uh, the idea is to go all the way up there to that towering thing it's, that's called the chimney rock. There's the broad river, looking a little broader. Actually, it is a dam, Lake Lure. And at first, I thought that that was where we parked down there, but nah, it is not. I can only imagine how much nicer the view is going to be from the top. We begin our trek to the top, counterintuitively by first going down. The first part is called the Outcroppings Trail. It's a long way. We encounter a fork on the road. Should we go to the Vista Rock first? Or should we do the Grotto and Subway? Yeah, we decide to go right. This is called the Grotto. And the good thing is they have a bench here so you, where you can sit down and take a break and enjoy the scenery. And the scenery is quite pleasant to look at. What they mean by low clearance. <laughs> this is why they call it the subway. Yeah, I can see why. Yeah. I don't know, baby. If we're gonna make it. Yeah. Si te resbalas, agárrate de mí. Yeah, yeah, fine. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so that's what they meant by by low clearance. That's why it's called the subway. 
It's beautiful. Okay, let's go see the view from the pulpit rock. That down there, that's the Chimney Rock Village and Lake Lure to the east. Down there, the meadows where we parked and uh, we still got a bit to climb. Oh, Walgreens owns, no, Dwayne Reed owns Walgreens. Yes, we've made it to the top. Elevation 2280. Well, we've made it to the chimney rock. I don't think we're gonna go to the higher point. The view from here is fantastic. Look at that. Thing. Check it out. And then up here, that's. There's another trail that goes even up higher, but we're not gonna take it. Actually, we might go up to that balcony. There's a line to go into the park now. It's very nice. Let's go down. The Sky Lounge is closed due to renovations. But over here, we can see where we were. Right up there. Up and up we go. We continue going up. I'm gonna, we're gonna try to make it all the way up to this balcony that is called the Opera Box. This is the opera box. It's always easier on the way down. Actually, anything will do. We skipped breakfast again. Yeah, we did. We came through here. A lot of construction going on. Can you hear it? Cliff dwellers. Like the ancient Pueblo people. Sauerkraut. Tamales. Hmm. And this view. Particularly, we would go down those stairs. But if there is construction, we have to go all the way around. It's nature. By the way, the food was really good, very satisfied. There you go, little trailer. That's our shuttle. But right now, we're going to do the Hickory Knot Falls Trail, coming up ahead. 1.4 miles round trip. Yeah, we can do that. By the way, this area was one of the filming locations for the 1992 movie The Last of the Mohicans. Yeah. Maybe they'll rebuild it.
hear water yet. I hear water. Somewhere. Ooh, it's a long way down. This stairs definitely not OSHA approved, but check it out. Fantastic view. Well, definitely worth the hike, uh, Hickory Nut uh, Falls. It's a little bit of a strenuous hike, but not bad. It's up and down, up and down, but we made it. Yeah, definitely gonna call the park so they cut down that tree so we can see there. I'm just kidding, guys, just kidding. Okay, so we came from the waterfall and we discovered that there's this other trail that goes to the meadows where we're parked. So we're gonna try to do that. That way we don't have to wait for the shuttle. Well, this is called the Four Seasons Trail, 0 0.6 miles. And it is classified as strenuous, but that would be coming up. We are taking it mostly downhill. It's a long way down. rough than I expect. <laughs> it's not bad. Guys, we're becoming hikers. The average camper's adventures will be proud. Ah, okay. Right? I should look uh, forward instead of downward. It's like we're going down to the center of the earth. Down and down and down and down and down. Yeah, I think I might be losing my mind oh, of all the things I've lost. Down and down we go. <laughs> Do be careful. This is what's, what's left of the falls. It's just a trickle. A trickle of water. That is. Surveillance camera, I bet. By the way, there is no evidence whatsoever that this is actually runoff from the falls or whether that was a surveillance camera. Totally unsubstantiated. Almost there. The final stretch at the end of the trail. I see cars. Success. I see Minitini. You see it? No. Well, we feel accomplished and very tired. We might not be able to walk tomorrow. I hope they didn't block us off. That's what we did. Success. Let's go. We're back on the narrow, perilous two-lane road 
Yeah, the only difference is that now it's early afternoon and there's a lot more oncoming traffic. You see? Pretty dangerous. Here's the Chimney Rock Village. To the left here you will see Lake Lure Flowering Bridge. And this here, Lake Lure. And there's even a little beach. Yeah, very nice. We, we've got to return here sometime. And what's up with all these nicely dressed people? If you have enjoyed traveling with us, make sure you are subscribed and check out my other videos. Also, share it with your friends, spread the word and leave me a comment. Now, if you really, really liked it, you have a chance to show your support at patreon.com slash travelingrobert. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. <laughs>